Hello artists, in this art lesson we'll be creating awesome fall Halloween gnomes. To do this, I'm working on an illustration board, but you could also use a heavy duty watercolor paper, like a thicker paper will work best for this. To draw it out, I'm using a pencil first. I'm going over it with an ultra fine tip Sharpie and erase my pencil lines as needed. I am adding paint with a tube series watercolor on a palette. The better um, quality paints will definitely help get better results. I'm using the Royal Soft Grip brushes and some NASCO fine tip brushes. And then I also have a paper towel, a cup for water, some paper down on my table, my work surface, and a hair dryer for drying the layers to speed up the drying as I layer up my watercolor paints. Halloween gnomes are awesome and I think you're going to really enjoy this lesson. Okay, the first step is I'm going to use pencil to sketch out my gnome. I'm going to start by drawing a oval shape for the nose in the middle. And then I kind of draw off some angles and a triangle shape for the hat. Maybe I'll give it a little curve on the end. And then the beard is kind of the opposite kind of triangle that comes down. Kind of a triangle shape for the sides, kind of a cape. And maybe give him some little shoes down there, however you want your shoes to look. Draw off some rectangle shapes. I'm gonna have his arms kind of going up. Give him some hands. It's very simplified. I'm gonna give him a little magic wand like he's a wizard. Okay, I'm gonna give a, a little bat flying in the sky. So I'm gonna draw a shape for a bat. And I'm gonna have his mouth open, it's a little circle for that. And then I like to go over with a ultra fine tip Sharpie because I'm gonna do watercolor painting and this will really help the colors kind of pop out too. Maybe I'll kind of indicate a few other lines for like the beard or you know maybe a few more details on there. Okay, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna erase any of my pencil lines. And also maybe finish up a little more detail, like a little design on the hat or a buckle on the hat. Okay, so I'm starting off with purple. You could use whatever colors you want, but I do like a dark purple for a Halloween color. So I'm going through with a light tone of purple first. So in watercolor paint, you always want to be painting from light to dark. So this is going to be my lightest version of purple for the gnome's outfit. Okay, then I'm gonna come back with black and I'm gonna paint in some of the black areas again. This is the lightest wash of black that I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna paint in his, you know, hands like he's wearing little black gloves and maybe his feet and anything else that could be black. I'm going to just take a little bit of a light brown and maybe a little bit of orange and a little bit of white to kind of make a skin tone. And I also want kind of a, a brown tone or gray color in his beard just to give it a little more dimension to it. So I'm going to put a little bit of a wash of a color down and then I'm going to come back with a clean brush and kind of blend that out a little bit. Yeah, come back with a clean brush and kind of blend that in. Maybe even damp it up if it's too dark with a paper towel or something. It's looking pretty good. Okay, see how with a, a clean brush you can soften a color up? And then I also want to maybe have a little bit of yellow and his magic wand, like it's a power. Okay, I'm going to dry up this layer, make sure everything's good and dry before I come back with a second layer of purple. You can see how much darker this color is. Watercolor paints were always building up from light to dark. I'm trying to get a darker value, a darker color of purple across my gnome now.
Okay, next I'm gonna come back and finish up any details I need to get done. I kind of waited on the black on the hat until I knew I had a, a pretty good purple color down. And then I'm gonna come back with a really small tip brush and paint in the black of the buckle for the hat. All right, so I'm gonna come back. I want a little bit of value to that. So the edges of it are gonna be a little bit darker. As it gets to the middle, it'll be a little bit lighter to give it a little more dimension like it turns around. More black into some of the other details. And then you wanna go through and make everything as dry. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do a little splatter painting on the background. You have to make sure all the other colors are dry before you do this. So you can see I load up my brush with the color I want and I'm tapping it on my finger because I want that to just kind of get a splattering around, uh, mainly not on the gnome, but in the background to just give it a little more characteristic, a little more dimension to it. So I'm gonna use the colors I've used in the painting for my background. So I did black, and I'm gonna do a little bit of yellow on here. Okay, I need a little more water to my to my yellow there. There we go, now I get a little bit of a splatter. And you don't want it too wet. If it's too wet, it's just gonna make, you know, kind of puddles. But if it's too dry, it won't splatter either. So you gotta get that perfect consistency. All right, and there is my finished gnome. Hey, thanks for joining us on Kid Art Nation. If you enjoyed our videos, it would mean a lot if you liked the videos and subscribe to our channel. Remember, you are important, you are amazing, you are an artist. Ooh.